Hi there, my name is Corrado. I'm from Cloud Choice Inc. And today I'm going to be talking about an automating sales process as far as campaigns go. So what we find out is a lot of our clients having problems, you know, sending, spending a lot of time sending emails or spending a lot of time nurturing their leads where there's uh, smart CRMs out there that can help automate the process for you. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at fresh sales today. We have a couple of videos in the past that a lot of... Uh, we have a lot of questions about how people can run their classic drip campaigns. Um, is there a way to automate the process? Well, with fresh sales, you can absolutely do all of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you guys a quick example on how you can uh, automate the entire process. You don't have to spend time sending the emails or anything like that. The CRM can do everything for you. And then you can go ahead and nurture the lead that however you'd like to do so. So uh, let's say, for example, this is what we're going to do for today's case. Um, on our Cloud Choice webpage, uh, we actually have a uh, form that we embedded from Fresh Sales. Uh, so whenever people go to our Cloud Choice website, they fill out all this information here. And all this information is going to be added into our Fresh Sales. And that's going to be a lead that we know is coming from our website because we're able to create a custom field that lets us know that, that this specific lead came from our website. So I'm immediately notified. So what's great is every time this lead gets uh, imported, we're going to add them into a campaign uh, where the entire sales process is going to be automated and it's going to be a traditional sales campaign like uh, we usually do. So let's go ahead and get that started. So in Fresh Sales, there's two different types of campaigns, a smart campaign and a classic campaign. So today's example, we're going to do a classic campaign. So go ahead and click this plus button here and you're going to go ahead and select campaigns. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so who will be in this campaign? Leads or contacts. So generally, you're going to focus on your leads who are uh, you're currently nurturing them to turn them into your contacts. Uh, so the leads out the leads will enter the campaign if the following conditions are met. So the owner is going to be Andrew. Uh, we'll also say if the source, so where the lead came from, is from our web form, they will automatically be put into this campaign. So again, as I mentioned before, classic and smart campaigns. Uh, so we're going to focus on the classic campaigns today. Um, so each step will uh, be executed on a specific day. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at that specific time area. Um, I love this uh, part of the CRM here because it excludes the weekends. Uh, a lot of CRMs don't do that. So some of the times they're doing a drip email campaign, they kind of send emails on the weekend. I'm personally not a big fan of that. I don't get a lot of return uh, or open rates on the weekends. So that's great that this CRM is able to do that for you. Uh, scrolling down here. So here's where we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've created a quick little guideline to kind of help us guide through our steps that we're going to make moving forward. So here's what I've created. So the first step is they sign up for our web form. What we're going to do initially is send our first initial email. So if that initial email was opened or replied, we're going to get a call reminder to our sales uh, counselors to make a call. Um, if that meeting was not set up with that call or maybe they didn't answer, um, we're going to go ahead and send a follow-up email. And if there was no reply on that email, we're going to get a notification to call. All right, and vice versa. We're going this way. They signed up, initial email. They did not open the email. We're going to send a push email. Hey, guys, we're still here. If there, we did get a reply from that, we're going to make a call. We're going to get a notification to call that following day. Um, so let's go ahead and start entering that in the system. And this is how we're going to go ahead and do so. All right. So remember, our first step here is we're going to send our initial email regardless. Uh, so this we're going to uh, this is going to be this is going to occur on the first day. So let's go ahead, click that email template. Remember, guys, to use those placeholders that you have so your their first name is grasped in the system. Okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead now and start following our first, we're going to follow our first pathway first. So if they open the email or replied, we're going to call them right away. Hey, let's get that call done. So this is going to happen, let's say on day three. They opened our email maybe on day two, they replied. Um, we're going to go ahead and call them. So we're going to add a condition. This is the condition. So this is the call reminder. You can put a little title, whatever you want to notify your sales counselors to tell them to call. So if replied to initial email, step one, 
we're going to call it. If also another condition is if they opened it, uh, which is if opened but not replied, send that initial email. Okay, we're going to keep the ball rolling here, uh, following here. So once we make that call, let's say they didn't set up a meeting, all right? So what I did actually was I created a custom field, which you can go ahead and go into admin settings, create custom field, add it in, <clears throat> whatever you'd like to do. This is really up to you, right? But I created a custom field that literally our sales counselors could just check the box off, yes or no, did you set up a meeting with that call? So if they didn't check that box off, they're gonna send a follow-up email. So here's how you do that. So this is gonna occur on day five. We're gonna make it like two day intervals here. Uh, add a condition. So I gotta find meeting setup. It's in here. Search it. Meeting setup is no. Let's send them another email. Follow-up one, okay? And again, this is doing everything for you. It's all automated, I especially make your calls though, obviously, but I mean, the emails are being sent out. We don't wanna be spending too much time sending emails when it can be done for us. So following our, our, our blocks here, follow-up one was sent. If there was no reply, we're gonna make a final call. So this can occur on day seven of your drip marketing campaign. I mean, there's 90 days here, so you can be a very successfully long time campaign. You can have it all set up for you. Your pre-written templates that you can you know, change over time if you'd like to as well. So call reminder, so Andrew's gonna be notified to make that call on the seventh day of the campaign. So if there was no reply, to our follow-up email, make that call. I'm gonna say final call reminder. So Andrew knows when on the day seven, he's gonna get all those notifications or tasks to, to complete. Make sure he makes that call on the seventh day. Okay, so that's basically gonna wrap up this pathway um, for that, uh, that campaign. And now we're gonna go ahead and, and, find, and follow the bottom of this pathway here. So, Day one, it's gonna be the same. Um, so if they did not open the email, we'll send this on day three. So we're gonna add that condition. This condition tells you um, the steps that has to occur first for you to do your next step. So if not opened, we're gonna to, to our initial email. So they did not open the initial email. We're gonna go ahead and send a pushy email. Hey, I'm still here. Are you still interested? Something along the lines of that. Remember, this is just a basic camp, uh, basic campaign here. I'm just kind of showing you guys. Maybe someone signed up for one of our trials or something. This is just highlighting how to do that. All right. So let's go back here. Take a look. What's our next step? Push your sales email. So if they replied to it, we're going to call them. So let's go ahead and add a call reminder. If they replied to, if replied to our pushy email, we're gonna call them and hopefully set that meeting up. And again, I forgot to change the day here. Make sure the days are aligned. So I'm gonna call them on day five. So uh, again, that two day uh, split there. So that's basically how you do that. Um, for your classic campaigns. And you can also introduce here how uh, leads can exit the campaign. I mean, that's very customized on how you'd like to do that. So I think it's really important to highlight the lead features such as cold and hot. If their score goes below a certain amount, maybe release them from the uh, campaign or if they click the uh, opt me out of the emails, obviously that would exit them from the campaign, uh, from your drip marketing campaign. But that's really how easy it is. You can do it with fresh sales. I highly suggest uh, you give it a shot here. I have no problem giving you guys a one-on-one -on -one free demo and kind of showing you guys some more information about how you can do so with your specific product. Um, but thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.